Cindy. Hi. What are your thoughts on the afterlife? Mm, afterlife. Uh, I think it does exist. Um, there, I feel like there is uh, another side to when it's time for us to go. Uh -huh. So, um, but yeah, that's practically it. <laughs> do, Cindy, do you know when your body dies, do you know where your soul is going to go? Mm, no. I'm not very religious, so no. Okay. Have you heard of the gospel of Jesus Christ? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what it is? or? Yeah. <laughs> what is the gospel? Um, it's a belief uh, in God and um, what he can bring to us. Yeah. All these other things. <laughs> so here's the thing. And here is my love for you right here and now. And my serious concern for you is actually very, very serious. Because tomorrow's not promised to you or me. And this is very, very critical right now. And it's so interesting that I came to you, of all people. <laughs> and what happened is, you know, we live in a fallen world because the first human beings, they sinned against God. And so as a result, we're sinful by nature. Mm -hmm. And just to make a long story short, you know, the wages of our sin is death. That's the proof of it is that we actually die. So that's proof that there's a consequence for our sin. However, God made a way. And the gospel of Jesus Christ is really that even though the wages for our sin is death, according to Romans 6, 23, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus, God has made a way for us, Cindy. And that is that our sins can actually be forgiven by the blood of Jesus Christ. So the gospel is that Jesus Christ, he came, he lived on this earth as he committed no sin. He died on the cross, he shed his blood, and he actually resurrected and he rose again on the third day. And so the good news is that you and I, even though we deserve eternal death because of our sin, just like someone in a courtroom who committed sin, the judge would punish them by giving them prison or, or death. Well, God also, there's a judgment day that's coming and we're gonna stand before a righteous and holy God. But here's the good news, the gospel for you and me. And that is that if we repent of our sin and accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior and have faith and faith in him alone, we can be saved. And that way, when your body dies, you'll know for sure that your soul will go to heaven and not hell. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I mean, like I did mention, I'm not very religious. So, um, I mean, if that's a belief you believe in, then I'll to you. But uh, for me, if it happens, it happens, I die. <laughs> well, no, we're all going to die, but what about the wages of, of death, which is eternal separation from God, which is hell? You know, you see movies, you see scary movies and things like that. Things that's happening in the world, you see evidence that hell is real, demonic forces are real, demons are real. I've seen a demon being cast out of someone before, as frightening, frightening as that may sound, it's very real. And so my concern is for your soul. Just want your soul to be saved on the day of judgment. Don't want you to look at me and say, hey, why didn't you tell me the truth? I, <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. And I pray that a seed is being planted in your heart right now. I don't expect to convert you within this uh, three to five minute interview or anything. But I do pray that a seed is planted in your heart that you will consider repenting of your sins and having faith in Jesus Christ alone for your sins to be redeemed so that your name can be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And when you leave this earth, you go to heaven to be with the Father, God Almighty of the Bible. That is my prayer. Have you ever heard of the gospel of Jesus Christ? Are you yeah. familiar with yeah. it? <laughs> you have family? Yeah, they're there? very religious. <laughs> very religious? All right. You know, some some religious people won't even make heaven. I don't know if you knew that. It's, yeah. Yeah, religion doesn't get us saved. 
it's our faith in Jesus Christ that gets us saved. What are your thoughts on Jesus Christ and the fact that um, people, you see how they use the Lord's name in vain all the time? You, have you ever heard that when people use the Lord's name in vain as a cuss word and things like that? Yeah. You ever thought about why they don't do that with other religions, like with Muslims? They don't use Muhammad's name in vain and things like that. Why is it always Jesus Christ? What do you think? Mm, maybe because it's broadcast more than the other religious um, beliefs. Uh, it's pretty popular. Uh, people hear it every day, probably. So I feel like it's just common. Um, and because it's been there for so long, people just, you know, with new slang, these kids come up with these days. It's just kind of something that still sticks. Have you ever used the Lord's name in vain? Uh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I encourage you to not do it anymore? Because it's, it's blaspheming to God. It, you know, God gave you life. And we don't want to use his name as a cuss word, right? Just kind of consider. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but you and I both, we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So it's not a judgment call. It's just purely out of love for your soul. Because we all have a day that we're going to leave this earth. All yeah. right? And is, this the, is this your first time hearing the gospel of Jesus Christ? No. You've heard it before? Yeah. Have you ever considered, uh, you know, reading the Bible and getting to know whether or not it's really real? Yeah, I have. My parents, I, we were, I was, they kind of forced it upon me. <laughs> oh, they did, and, so, that, and yeah. that turned you away, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, now you're an adult, <laughs> and God has sent me to you today. So, I trust that He will continue to work in your life, Cindy. Okay. Yeah. And do you have a Bible at home, by the way? No. Oh, I have a, I have something that I like to give to you. If you don't have a Bible at home. Cindy, this is purely up to you. I'm not going to follow you at home and make sure you read this Bible, okay? This is going, this is between you and God. But this is a little, a pocket Bible. And I want to encourage you, Cindy, if you ever get a chance, go ahead and open it up and read it. And let the Holy Spirit work in your life, okay? Okay. Because it's not me, it's, it's the Holy Spirit that will do it. I trust that and I believe that. You're going to think about repenting of your sins and trusting and having faith in Jesus Christ. Will you just think about it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Can I pray for you? Uh, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Abba Father, I live here.